Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today's video is a DIY glam black and silver vase. Uh, this is by far one of my favorites because I love black and silver. Uh, this will go in any room in my house. And it's simple enough where I can put a floral arrangement in it or just use it to sit aside and decorate a bookcase. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. This is something I've been wanting to try for a long time. Uh, I like opposites and there's nothing like bling with a nice dull black. So I got some Rust-Oleum satin black and I'm going to paint the um, vase and we'll see how it turns out. I have a feeling I'm really going to like it, but we'll see. Okay, I've washed the vase very well and I have the opening down because I really don't want any paint on the inside. Uh, if I want to use this for flowers, um, I want to be able to do that. If I paint on the inside, it's going to come off with water. So, it's upside down and it's getting ready for a couple of coats. Okay, there's one coat um, and just so you know this is on a lazy Susan with some freezer paper and that way I don't have to touch it um, to paint all sides okay um, this is nice and dry and I'm getting ready to put some bling on it and this is bling that I have had for years and years and years. I actually got this as a Christmas gift. And this is fabric trim. It's not the um, the normal rhinestone mesh. This is a fabric trim. And uh, I like the black on the inside. Because it really shows up on here like crazy. Okay, um, I've got some E6000. I have the trim. I've got scissors, uh, something to protect my hands with from the hot glue. And I have hot glue. And um, this is Gorilla hot glue sticks because Gorilla glue always dries clear. And it's got a super bond. So, um, what I'm going to do is use the scissors to cut, and I think I'm going to do this straight up and down. Okay, I've got the um, first bit on, and I really like the way that is looking. So, I'm going to go directly across, and then I'm going to put one on in between. So, I'll have four when I'm done. But I'm just going to go straight across so I know where to go. Okay, I like the way this looks, but it's a little plain for me. <laughs> yeah, um, like that's something new. Uh, I did get a roll of this. And what I'm going to do is cut off a single row. And I'm going to put the single row in between the um, trim. And you can see how easily this cuts apart. And, like I said, I'm going to glue it right in between the rows. 
and I'm going to use a little bit of the E6000 and a little bit of the hot glue to hold it in place quickly. Okay, I've got the uh, single row on in between, and I really like just the single row. And I don't think I'm going to add anything else. I think it's got more than enough bling. Um, and this is going to stand out beautifully if I decide to put a floral arrangement in it or just use it as an accent piece. Oh, I love that sparkle. So, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating, everyone.